Hello, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a little pouch for your scissors. They're perfect for these small type scissors, measure about five and a half, six inches. And what I do at the beginning of the school year, when all the school supplies are on sale, I go and pick myself up four or five pairs. And then I put, make these little pouches and I slip these scissors right inside, button it up. I add a little hook with a little polymer clay button hook or tag that I made. And then I have this little hook and I can put this little hook onto my, one of my project bags and take the scissors with me. It's a great thing to make. And also, this one was made using the bonbon yarns from Lion Brand. And I made it using two strands of yarn. But a lot of people are having trouble finding the bonbons now. And I was asked if I would redo the pattern in a worsted way. And the truth is, it's exactly the same. The bonbons uh, yarn that I used for this one is a number two. And so I used two strands of the bonbon. That way you can see the different colors where I used two strands of each color, just changing whenever. For this one, I used um, some worsted weight. I believe it's Red Heart, but I'm not sure because I don't have the tag anymore. It's just a variegated. And it takes one strand of worsted weight four of any kind of yarn. You can use uh, acrylic or you can use cotton. But if you have bonbons on hand, you can use it to make this pair of scissors uh, cover using two strands. If you want to make it with worsted weight number four, you just need one strand. And today we're going to be using our G hook. And you will need one stitch marker. You can use a stitch marker or you can use a piece of thread. And that's because we're stitching in the round, increasing all the way up. And you'll need that to keep track of your rows. You'll also need a small needle with a good size eye in it. So on our button, weave in our ends, things like that. And of course, a button. Here's a blue one I'm going to be using for our project today. And I'm going to use this charm. I have Rosie's name on it. I made it the other day. And the yarn that I'm going to be using is this Red Heart yarn. It's called Soft White Fleck. And it has a little bit of color in it, but not too much. And I wanted to use kind of an off-white because this is all stitched in single crochet. And I want you to be able to see the stitches. All right, just to recap, you need some worsted weight number four yarn, not very much, your G hook, one stitch marker, one button, and a charm with the hook if you want it. Needle and a pair of scissors. All right, let's get started. Now we're going to begin down here at the point of our scissor bag and increase working our way up. And one thing I wanted to tell you is we are stitching with our G hook today. And if you feel like your stitches are not tight enough, because you remember on this one, the point kept sticking through, we want to make sure that those stitches are nice and tight. Um, you can switch down and use your F hook if you want to stitch just a little bit tighter. The other thing is this is a free pattern on my blog, and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath the video so that you can go and look at those, just so that you can check your stitch counts, because that's very important. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make our slip knot. And then we're going to chain two. Whoops. <laughs> One, two. And we're going to begin stitching in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to stitch four double crochet or four single crochets, not double, single. This whole entire project is stitched using single crochets crochets. So we're going to go in this second chain from the hook and stitch four single crochets. And just in case you don't remember what a single crochet is, you put your hook through and pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. So there's two, three, and four. Let me move that piece of string out of the way. Now you're going to need to put your stitch marker in 
that stitch that you just made because that's telling us that that is the last stitch on the row because we're not going to be joining we're going to stitch in continuous rounds all right so that was row one row two we're going to stitch two single crochets in that first single crochet one two and then we're going to stitch one single crochet in those next three single crochets one two move my stitch marker so I can stitch in there that down there now stitch my single crochet and then I'm going to stitch my put my stitch marker right back in all right so that was row two for row three we're again going to place two single crochets in that first single crochet one two and then we're going to stitch one single crochet in those next three single crochets. One. I'm stitching really tight here, so I'm having to push my hook through. There we go. Two. Three. Actually, there's four there, isn't there? Because this is row three. And four. There we go. So we did two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then again, I'm going to move my stitch marker to my first stitch or my last stitch that I made. And that tells me that's the last stitch in that row. And that was row three. So we finished our third row. And after the third row, I like to take the tip of it and pop it this direction because this is the outside of our bag. And then we'll be stitching around this way for the rest of the bag. All right, so for row four, we're going to place two single crochets in the first stitch. One, two. And then we're going to place one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And then we're going to have another increase because from now on, we're going to have an, two increases on each row. So we're going to place two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two. And then we'll place one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one. And then I'm going to move my stitch count marker and stitch my stitch in that single crochet and then replace my stitch marker. All right, so that was row four. For row five, we're going to place two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two. And then we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then again, two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two. And then the next three stitches, we're going to stitch one single crochet. One, Two. I'm going to move my stitch marker out, stitch my stitch, and put my stitch marker right back in. When you're stitching in the round, your stitch marker is very important for helping you remember when to begin your next row. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use another piece of yarn that's a different color and just put it through each time or wrap it back and forth. Both work great, um, but when you're working in the round like this, it's very important to use something to mark your rows. All right, so that was row number five. All right, let's do row six. Again, we're going to place two single crochets in the first single crochet, one, two, 
And then we're going to place one single crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to place two single crochets in the next one, two, and then we're going to place one single crochet in these next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. I move my stitch marker, make my single crochet, and put my stitch marker right back in. There's row six. Now for row seven, we're going to do it the same, only we're going to have five single crochets between those two single crochets that we stitched together. So the next stitch is two single crochets in the next single crochet, then five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to stitch two single crochets together, one, two, and then one single crochet in those last five stitches, one, two, three, four, let's move our stitch marker, there we go, five and put our stitch marker back. The stitch marker is very important, like I said a couple of times, got to keep count on our stitches. All right, so there's row seven. Let's go ahead and do row eight. So we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch, one, two, and then we're going to stitch six single crochets before we do the next increase. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then two single crochets in this next stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, take our stitch marker out, single crochet in that last single crochet, and put our stitch marker right back in. So we've done the first eight rows, and you can see that the shape of the scissor point at the end of our bag is really starting to take shape. That's the bottom point. So let's go ahead and do row nine. So for row nine, we're going to begin with two single crochets in the first stitch. One, two. And then we're gonna place one single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to place two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two. And then we're going to place one single crochet in the next seven stitches to end this row. One, two, get some more yarn here, three, four, <laughs> five, my stitch marker's getting in my way, there's six, let me move the stitch marker, stitch my seventh single crochet, and then again, put my stitch marker back. All right, so that was row nine. Now we're going to do row 10, and row 10 is exactly like row nine, only there's going to be eight stitches 
between the two increase stitches. So the first stitch is two single crochets. Then we're going to stitch eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we'll stitch our increase stitch, which is two single crochets in the same single crochet. And then again, we'll stitch eight single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move my stitch marker so I can stitch in the eighth stitch and put my stitch marker back. All right, we're moving right along nicely. Now we're going to do row 11. And again, row 11 is exactly like row 10, only there'll be nine stitches in between our increases. So the first stitch, we're going to stitch two single crochets. And then we're gonna stitch nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're gonna stitch two single crochets for our increase. One, two, two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we're gonna stitch nine single crochets, one in each single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, or six, <laughs> seven, eight, take out our stitch marker, stitch our ninth single crochet and then put our stitch marker back. All right, so now we're on row 12. And row 12 is exactly like the other rows, only there will be 10 stitches in between our two increase stitches. So let's do our first one, two single crochets and the first single crochet. Then we're gonna stitch 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll stitch two single crochets in the same stitch. There we go. And then we'll stitch one single crochet in each stitch across to our stitch marker for 10 single crochets. Row 13 is exactly like row 12 with two single crochets in the first stitch. One, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, oops, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. And then we're going to place those two single crochets in the same stitch. And then again, we're going to stitch the rest of the single crochets, which are 11 single crochets, back to our stitch marker. So 
So now that we've completed row 13, we're not going to be doing any more increased stitches. We're only going to be doing one single crochet and each single crochet around. So we're just going to place one single crochet in each single crochet around for row 14. Row 14 was one single crochet in each stitch around. Now we're going to do three more rows of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So with this was row 14, row 15, 16, and 17 are exactly the same. One single crochet in each single crochet around. So I stitched my four rows and here's the pair of scissors. And this is the way that they fit. Now if you want them to, the fit scissors to fit down inside deeper or you want it to be longer, you can do as many rows of just one row of single crochet that you would like. Now remember we're going to put a flap on that's going to cover the top of those scissors. All right, so now that we've finished the bottom, we need to do the flap. So what we're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the first 16 stitches across. One single crochet in the first 16 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five. After you've stitched your 16 stitches, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And what we're going to do next is called stitching two single crochets together or a single crochet decrease. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook in the first single crochet and pull up a loop. Then we're going to put our hook in the next single crochet and pull up a loop. You'll have those three loops on your hook. You'll yarn over and go through all three of those. And what we did is we decreased two single crochets to one. And then you're going to stitch one single crochet in the next 12 single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I guess I can take that stitch marker out. There we go. Now the last two single crochets or the next two single crochets we're going to single crochet them together. So we're going to go in the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Then we're going to go in the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through all three. Then we're going to chain one and turn. And this is the way we're going to decrease the flap. So we're going to single crochet together the first two single crochets on this row. So we go right in and pull up a loop, the next single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, and single crochet them together. Then we're going to single crochet across until we reach the last two single crochets. All right, so now we've reached these last two single crochets and we're going to single crochet them together. So we're going to go in this stitch, pull up a loop, go in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all three, 
and chain one. And you'll see that the flap, which is what we're making, will begin to decrease on the edges. All right, so let's turn and do it again. Stitching the first two single crochets together, then one single crochet and each single crochet until we reach the last two single crochets. All right, now we're at these last two single crochets. We're going to single crochet them together. Yarn over, go through all three, chain one, and turn. And again, the first two single crochets, stitching them together. One single crochet and each single crochet across until we reach those last two. Stitch the last two together. And then we'll do this one more time. One single crochet. Decrease. One single crochet. And each single crochet across till we reach the last two. And then one single crochet decrease or stitching two single crochets together. And that's our last single crochet decrease. Now it looks a little bit bumpy, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet around the opening going around the whole flap one time. So let's go ahead and chain one. And then we're just going to single crochet down the side here where we stitched our flap and did those decrease stitches. We're just single crocheting down that side and now we've reached the top of our pouch so we'll just go right around those stitches. Oops, there we go. We can move those out of the way. All right, we're going right back around the top opening of our pouch, just stitching a single crochet in each single crochet. So we stitched a single crochet around the front of the bag, and now we're going to go right up that second side and try to tidy that up so it has a nice finished edge. There we go. And now we're back up to the flap. And what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet to the center of the flap. And then we're going to chain six. And this is going to make our button loop. Now, if you chose a bigger button, you may want to chain more. If you chose a smaller button, you want to chain less so that your loop isn't too big or too small for your button. And then we're going to go right back in that same stitch and single crochet. And then we'll single crochet right back over to that corner where we started. And then we'll just tie off. Oops, got a string. There we go. Cut our yarn. tie off and I want to pull that in so I can weave that in. There we go. And I'm just going to tuck it in for now. I'll weave it in after a bit. But I wanted to show you how this looks. Here's our scissor bag. Now we're going to put our 
button on. This is the button that I'm using. Let me pull those scissors out. And you just got to place it where you want it. I've got a needle already threaded with my matching thread and I'm just going to go right up through. Now make sure you stitch it on good because you're going to be using this a lot and you want that button to stay put. There we go. Nice sturdy button. Alrighty. Let's just give that a little knot for now and then I will weave all these strings in later. <laughs> Alright, so there's our button. And then I have this here. And I like to add these. You don't have to add a tag. You can just add the hook if you want to. But I make these out of polymer clay. They're a lot of fun. They're just buttons. And I just make the circle high so that it hangs like a tag. And I get this kind of hook here. And I just hook it to the side over here or over here. And I make sure I go through a couple of threads because you want it to stay without pulling out your stitches. And then when you go to put this in your yarn bag or your... Um, project bag you can just take this hook and hook it on the handle or the edge or whatever that you however that you want so let's slide our scissors in button it up and let's go put it in our project bag <music> 